The origins of the name Lyme disease come from the Yale group who were describing a rather unusual form of arthritis seen in children in the area of Lyme, Connecticut. The early descriptions really emphasize the rheumatologic aspects, the, the arthritis of Lyme disease. When I came to Stony Brook from Harvard, I began to see patients that really didn't fit the description that, I, that the Yale people had provided me. It wasn't really just a rheumatologic disorder. It was a systemic infectious disease with multiple organ system involvement. Well, the test for Lyme disease is basically looking at uh, your immune response to the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. And when you, get an, when you get an infection, your body fights it. And one of the things it makes is antibodies so it can fight off the infection. And we can use antibodies as a way of determining what you're infected with. Well, if you, if in many diseases we do that, if the, if the, if the bacteria grows well, say some of the things that cause urinary tract infections or skin infections like staph, those bacteria grow really well in the laboratory. The Lyme disease bacteria is very hard to grow. Most clinical laboratories can't grow it. And even in research laboratories, it takes weeks before you get a positive culture. And the culture yields that the percent of people that you know have the disease uh, is is only about fifty to sixty percent. So it's not a reliable test. Looking for the DNA is also difficult um, because you have you can you'd have to take a skin biopsy of the rash to get the DNA or you'd have to biopsy, say, a joint, or do a spinal tap, some invasive procedure to obtain DNA. The DNA is not present in the blood for very long, uh, and um, so it's hard to get an easily accessible tissue. That's why both of those. So that's why we're using indirect methods. The indirect method that we most commonly use is um, looking for antibodies. Some people have claimed you could look for proteins of the bacteria, but this is not something that has been uh, very successful. And it's quite controversial uh, in that uh, some of the claims just can't be redu duplicated in other labs.